All right, so the question is then, the question really then gets down to is what you're being prompted loving or unloving? Okay. Doesn't it? Like, as long as it's loving and it's to do with the development of your soul, then why not go along with it? If it's unloving in some way, then certainly you want to know. Whether it's coming from yourself or from another person, you'd want to know and not do, not do it and work out what emotion is within you causing you to do it. So my, my feelings about spirit attraction and thoughts and feelings and, and images popping from spirits into your mind are, are this. The law of attraction is bringing that to you. It's bringing it to you for a reason. And you need to allow yourself to feel about the reason. So let's say I'm a person who has a lot of anger in me. And in this process of anger, I actually start feeling like I want to actually kill the person I'm angry with. And I start having thoughts popping into my mind. Yeah, go it. You know, go and do it. Right? Right? What's actually happening here? Is this a thought that's loving? No. But it's a thought that's uh, coming, whether it's coming from a spirit or my own feelings, it's a thought that's coming from some evil emotions within myself, isn't it, really? That's attracting it. You follow me? So what I need to ask myself is, is this a loving thing that I'm being encouraged to do? And if I'm not, then let's deal with the emotion under it. Instead of staying in the anger, what am I so angry about? You know, go deeper into that. You know, go deeper into the emotion itself that I'm afraid of and so forth, and all the things that are covering it. Does that make sense? So, if you allow yourself to do that, whatever the attraction is, will automatically disappear. But because I'm so much in a rage myself, and I feel justified about maybe even thinking about killing that person, I'm going to attract a, a spirit who's also in that state, and who's willing to watch me and encourage me to actually hurt somebody. Does that make sense? So, what do I need to do? I need to deal with it emotionally. Can you see that? Every single time, deal with it emotionally. Now, some ways to tell the difference between, that being said, some ways to tell the difference between what's going on in terms of my own feelings and thoughts and what's going on in terms of the spirit uh, is that oftentimes thoughts from spirits just come out of nowhere. Whereas many of your own thoughts will come from an emotion that you recognise within yourself. <coughs> Do you see the difference? So sometimes you'll find that a thought will come out of nowhere and just pop into your mind, like, where did that come from? Most of the time it came from one of these spirits who were with you. <clears throat> but if you go back through your thoughts and you realise, oh boy, I was having a feeling just before then of whatever the feeling was. So let's say the feeling was I was angry or the feeling was I was whatever it is. Trace, you go back to that. A lot of times thoughts like that come from within yourself. You will know the difference quite easily because there are things that are coming that are obviously not from you. How many of you have had thoughts that you felt didn't come from you? Right? Like you know, more than half of people here. And that is very common and usually they did come from spirits. How many of you have had thoughts that didn't come from you and you felt they weren't very nice thoughts? How many of you have had that? Yeah? Well, that's come from a spirit too. And they popped that thought in at that moment, trying to get you to make a decision that was negative. Right? Because there's an emotion inside of you that attracted that particular popping of that thought in. If that makes sense. Right? So, whenever you have these thoughts just pop into you like that, just you know, understand that there's probably a spirit behind them. Ask yourself, what is the thought itself? Is it a thought that's encouraging you to love? Or is it a thought that's encouraging you to be damaging in some way to somebody else? If it's the latter, then obviously the spirit who's popped it in is malevolent and they're attracted to you because of an emotion in you that you're holding on to that's not so good. Right? And let yourself acknowledge that. Don't judge it. Let yourself acknowledge it. And most of the time you'll find it came from your childhood and some hurt that you received when you were little. Let yourself work your way through that.